most anticipated mobile phone launch of the year. And I'm pretty sure we're going to give you a lot of surprises. And we were, when we were planning this day, we said we have to ensure everybody who wants to attend should be able to attend this launch event. So this is our biggest launch event for last three years. We have a big stadium. We have about 1,500 people here in the room. And we have probably few tens of thousands or few lakh people watching us live right now. Here in the stadium, we have about 1,000 Mii fans. All our Mii fans, give me a shout. Uh, we have few hundred of our partners. And we have few hundred media colleagues. So thank you so much, guys, for joining in today. Especially our Mii fans. I know many of you have traveled a long distance to join us today. And you'll be surprised to know all our Mii fans who are present in here. They've contributed 480 rupees each. Why 480? 48 megapixels, right? So each of our fans have contributed 480 rupees each to join this event. So 1,000 Mii fans into 480, about 5 lakh rupees. So I'm happy to share that we're taking this money. Thank you. So we're taking this money and we're contributing this to Bharat Ke Veer, which is an organization for our soldiers, and especially for the families of soldiers uh, who died during the tragic uh, terrorist attack. This is in addition to the two crore rupees that Shawm India contributed to the same contribution. So thank you so much, guys, for being part of this special thing today. So let's start the show. I'll start by telling a little bit about Xiaomi. So of course you guys know this, innovation for everyone, which means we really want to launch great quality, amazing innovative products and make them accessible so that everybody can enjoy technology. And you know, this has worked really well in India. If you look at last few years, we have probably become the most loved technology brand in the country. And I'm using my words very carefully the most loved technology brand. You know why? Because we are now number one across multiple categories. We are number one in smartphones, number one in smart TVs, number one in wearables, and number one in power banks. So thank you so much, guys, for giving us all the love. <laughs> Within the smartphone category, we have now been the number one brand for six consecutive quarters. We became number one in Q3 2017. And since then, every single quarter, we have been the number one brand. In fact, if you look at the IDC report for the year 2018, the entire calendar year 2018, we were number one with about 28.9% market share. As for IDC, we shipped about 41 million units. But what is most surprising is we grew at a whopping 58.6% year on year from 2017 to 2018. Thank you. And this is incredible because amongst the top five brands, we were probably the fastest growing brand even at this scale. And the gap between us and the second brand has been growing, has been increasing quarter on quarter. If you look at just the Q4 numbers, Q4 2018, we were again at 28.9% market share. The second largest brand, Samsung, was at about 18.7% market share. <coughs> Sorry, so a 10% gap and all other brands were below 10%. And if you look at the absolute shipment between us and the second largest brand, which is Samsung, as per IDC, Samsung shipped about 6.8 million units in Q4, and we did about 10.5. So a 54% gap between Xiaomi and the second largest brand in the country. Thank you. And one of the big reasons for success for all of us have been our journey in offline. You know, offline is a journey that we just started about one and a half years ago. And today, we have grown from less than 1% market share one and a half years ago to more than 20% market share in just a short period of 18 months. So a big shout out to all our 5,000 plus me preferred partners who have helped us achieve this. Thank you. I see a lot of our offline partners over here. Um, and then in the online segment, which is where we started, of course, we continue to remain a very dominant brand. We're number one for nine consecutive quarters. And not just this, we continue to have a 50% market share, which is incredible. Because if you look at the entire year, 
if there were two people who bought a phone online, one out of two were Xiaomi customers. And we were about six to seven times bigger than the second, third, and fourth largest brands within the online segment. Now, a lot of products are loved by all of you guys. And one special product that we are really proud of is our Redmi Note series. Now, this is one series which is really redefining the mid-premium segment in India. In the year 2014, we launched Redmi Note 4G. That was the first affordable 4G phone in the country. A dual band 4G phone, which was supporting both the bands and was priced under 10,000 rupees. Then Redmi Note 3, the global debut of 650. Redmi Note 4 introduced 625, our favorite processor. <laughs> and of course, last year, we introduced Redmi Note 5 Pro, the global debut of Snapdragon 636. And we know all of you guys, the entire country loves Redmi Note. You know why? We can see it in the numbers. Again, IDC numbers, and you can see how Redmi Note shipments have increased year on year. If you just count the Redmi Note series in one year, we ship more than 12 million phones in one calendar year in this series. Now, 12 million is a pretty big number. If Redmi Note was an independent brand, it would probably be the third or the fourth largest brand in India right now. Now, we have compared this with some of the largest brands in the country, and you'll be surprised that Redmi Note is bigger than three or four brands combined together. If you combine Realme, Honor, Huawei, and Asus, just Redmi Note. Thank you. Just Redmi Note is bigger than all four brands put together in the country. And this is possible because all of you guys are me fans, you give us feedback. Whenever we're planning to launch a product, we take feedback from you guys. Now, this is a me fan meet that we did in Bangalore a few weeks ago. The phone that I'm, handing, I'm having in my hand is a Redmi Note 7. We showcased it to some of you guys, took active feedback, and I'm happy to share that we're incorporating a lot of that feedback in today's launch. We also did a social media post just yesterday asking you guys, how many surprises do we have for all of you guys? Any guesses? Okay, how many people think we'll have three surprises? No. How many people think four? Four, okay. How many five? Okay, so we'll not disappoint you. We will have five surprises for all the people sitting here in this room. So stay tuned, we'll take about one and a half hours. A lot of really cool things planned. What do you think will be the first surprise? Sorry, I cannot hear you. Okay, so the first surprise, and probably the biggest surprise, is that we are launching Redmi Note 7 Pro. And this is the global debut of this phone here in India right now. The phone that we are about to launch has not been launched anywhere in the world. So, and to talk about this, I'll call on stage somebody who is more handsome than me. Mr. Tom Cruise. Can I get on stage Mr. Anush Sharma? the head of marketing for Xiaomi India. My main man, Manu. Thank you. And a warm welcome to all our partners, our media colleagues, and of course, all our fans. Welcome to the launch of the Redmi Note 7 Pro. Now, it's a great privilege for me to be here to introduce to you something which I think fundamentally will change the industry forever. It's a landmark product. And not just that, with the Redmi Note 7 Pro, we are bringing in a massive 48 megapixel camera beast. It's not just that, the Redmi Note 7 Pro redefines design, takes performance to the very next level 
and of course you've got an amazing flagship camera frankly it's amazing what a phone at a truly honest price can do let's get into the first part straight away design and with the redmi note 7 pro we have gone grounds up and completely changed our design philosophy and to look at that design philosophy i'll play a video just take a look this is where it all began the first redmi note ever created the beginning of a path-breaking legacy in the world of smartphones a legacy that has exceeded expectations with every successor and refined and reinvented itself time and again. When we started designing the Redmi Note 7 series, we wanted to take this legacy to the next level. The device has been crafted with the aim of a premium design and aesthetic. We wanted to provide an experience so immersive that it truly wows the user, all along ensuring no compromise on the functional features that our fans have always adored. And that is what led us to the Aura Design philosophy. The impact of Aura Design is clear at first glance. The symmetric seamless design draws your attention immediately. In your hand, the new note feels premium and ergonomically designed. Truly a class apart. And that's not all. We've carefully crafted the bezel, the notch, and the overall user experience to ensure that the new note immerses you deeply into every experience that you desire. What really makes the new Redmi Note an excellent device is its functional design. We've ensured that no small accidents, spills, or drops will ever degrade the quality and performance of your premium device. And of course, we've retained all the practical features that you've always loved. So get ready for the best Redmi Note yet with the all-new Aura design. Xiaomi. So with the Redmi Note 7 Pro, we are bringing in an all-new Aura design. As you saw, the Aura design philosophy is a factor of three things. We are giving an incredibly immersive experience. There's a lot of attention to detail. And we are doing all of this, making a beautiful device without compromising on the functionality. Something that our Mi fans have always loved. Moving into the immersive experience. For the first time ever on a Redmi Note, we are using a 19.5 is to 9 dot notch display. Now this is a full HD display that takes brightness and contrast level to a whole new level. But what I want you to look at is that we also have used the most expensive LCD technology available today, the LTPS in-cell screen. Now this is incredibly important because the LTPS in-cell screen uses less power and also generates less heat. And with that, we are able to push this all the way to the edges to give you a bezel that's narrower than ever before at just 1.95 mm. It's a true engineering marvel. And with this new aspect ratio and smaller bezel, what we've been able to do is with the Redmi Note 7 Pro in almost the same footprint as the Redmi Note 5 Pro and the Note 6 Pro, we're giving a larger display. Now it's a 6.3 inch display. Not just that, with the Note 7 Pro, we have retained and in some cases reintroduced some of our fan favorites. We have the sunlight display. When you go out, the Redmi Note 7 Pro screen enhances brightness, improves the overall contrast, and even to give you a more natural image, adjusts the color saturation. So when you are outside in bright sunlight, it's still a comfortable viewing experience. And talking about a comfortable viewing experience, if it's low light, we also have a reading mode. And this has been certified by TUV, where it cuts off the blue light, improves the overall readability, reduces eye strain, so that when you get that last game or the last skill before that night, you still aren't really uh, stressing your eyes. And along with the display, along with the entire immersive nature, is the craftsmanship. On the Redmi Note 7 Pro, for the first time, we have a 2.5D curved glass, and not just in the front, but the back as well. 
and this is incredibly important because this curvature that you get both in the front and the back seamlessly blends with the frame giving you this perfect unibody experience the hand feel on the note 7 pro is absolutely amazing it's something that you do not expect from a device like this uh, what's also interesting is and some of the me fans i'm sure will notice this later is the flash actually is underneath the glass it's that seamless overall design amazing attention to detail and talking about more attention to detail we also are introducing for the first time a gradient finish now this is six layers coming together to give you this incredible finish it's absolutely gorgeous and it comes in multiple colors let's take a look at the first one now that's the neptune blue now it looks absolutely amazing with the entire gradient finish coming in uh, another angle for the neptune blue and you can absorb this more uh, it is a really good device uh, one more angle for note 7 pro's neptune blue color now not just that we've taken the gradient finish to another level and we also have the nebula red looks absolutely stunning almost from all angles that you look at it and again you can see the frame is matching with the entire gradient finish it is an outstanding looking device another angle now these are the two gradient finishes that we've got what happens if you have someone in your team someone who's a little more conservative someone like probably Manu yeah, for him these colors are a bit too much he said it's for the younger people uh, I, I do like the blue for those people actually not it, it's actually a really good color uh, we are also getting the classic space black and this is a black that you've never seen before it's absolutely stunning it looks classy as well as it gives you this entire vibrance that you expect from the Note 7 Pro. Another angle for the space black, and here are all three colors in the same frame. Absolutely stunning, and I must commend our engineering team for doing an excellent job. Now, these are renders, but what happens is if when you see this device in person, when you hold it, how does that look? So, we've taken a couple of shots of the phone. Now, the next few images are not renders, these are actually photographs of the real device. Just to show you how good this actually looks. The Neptune Blue, by the way the color name is also really awesome, as good as the Note 7 Pro. The Nebula Red, now these devices look absolutely stunning in real life. And of course after this we should get an idea and we should get a chance to feel these. And of course the classic black. Now, not just a good looking device, the Note 7 Pro also takes this entire build to the very next level. Both at the front and the back, we are introducing Corning's Gorilla Glass 5. And talking about being a very practical device, we are also introducing a type C port for the first time on the Note series. And of course, Jack is back. Uh, we never get got rid of it. Uh, now there's one more feature which the Mi fans love and none of the other brands have ever provided. Absolutely, only the Mi fans know this. So with the IR Blaster, and almost all our uh, Redmi Note devices have had this, you can turn your Redmi Note 7 Pro into a universal remote. You can control thousands of devices, TVs, set-top boxes, game consoles, fans, 
pretty much everything that uses IR technology. It's something that our fans have absolutely loved, and we are not giving up on that. So, to sum it up, from a design perspective, I'm sure you guys are loving what you saw. The Aura design, an all-new philosophy. We've got an immersive 6.3-inch dot-notch display with an all-new aspect ratio of 19.5 is to 9. You have a LTPS in-cell screen. Again, improved thermals, improved battery efficiency. You're pushing it all the way to the edges, smaller bezels. You've got a Corning Gorilla Glass 5, both at the front and the back. It's a 2.5D glass that merges in with the frame. And of course, that beautiful six layer gradient finish. And it's still a Redmi Note. It is as practical as ever before. Um, it's got the headphone jack, it's still got the IR remote control, and the, the all new Type C. Now, moving to the next section, and this is something that the Redmi Note series has always been known for. We've broken that entire uh, segment time and again in terms of how the Redmi Note has performed. And of course, talking about that, let's get into the performance part. And this, of course, is, we know, incredibly important to all our Mi fans, right? No? Okay, so before I get into uh, the performance part of it, I'll recap. So we talked about this last time as well. When we are selecting a processor, we look at three key things. Can it run all the apps and games smoothly? Does it have great thermals? And of course, it's a note, it has to give great battery life. So for kind of ticking all these boxes, I would like to introduce to you, on the Redmi Note 7 Pro, we are going to use the Qualcomm Snapdragon 625. wanted to obviously 625 has been Manu's favorite processor for two years unfortunately uh, a couple of weeks back we had a little incident in Andhra Pradesh one truck which was surprisingly carrying all our 625 chips got stolen so because we lost all our 625s with the Redmi Note 7, we are bringing in an all new processor. <laughs> this processor is absolutely amazing. On Antutu, this clocks in at a whopping 1.8 nap. Trust me. Nobody has seen a performance like this in this segment before. In fact, when we compared the Redmi Note 7 Pro with the previous generation Redmi Note 6 Pro, we have 155% the performance of the predecessor. It's a massive jump. Not just from a, a benchmark score perspective. We tested it time and again internally. Almost everything that you run, runs a lot faster. You see faster web browsing, game launches, <clears throat> social media launches, almost everything is much, much faster on the Note 7 Pro. So, so these were benchmarks and these were comparisons. So we decided to go a step further. And we said, let's compare it with some really powerful devices out there. And where does it stand? So we decided to compare it with the Qualcomm 710. And versus the 710, the Redmi Note 7 Pro is almost 17% faster. There's another 710, which is not actually the real one. Uh, that obviously is, is much slower, but we'll get to that a little later. So, what we did was, this was Antutu. How about some other tests, like single core tests and you know, multi-core tests? So we also went to Geekbench and looked at that. So both single core, multi-core, of course you've seen Antutu it turned out to be the fastest device that was there. And of course, we've seen the, the 
Oppo R17 Pro that does run seven, Snapdragon 710 retails for about 46,000 rupees. And the Note 7 Pro beats it by a healthy margin. Why is that? Because the Redmi Note 7 Pro's processor uses the latest Trio 460 architecture. Now this uses the same ARM A76 cores as the Qualcomm Snapdragon 855. It is a truly powerful chip. And this chip that we're using <coughs> on the Redmi Note 7 Pro is none other than an absolute phenomenal chip running on the Cryo 460 architecture. It's an 11 nanometer FinFET process. So it's not just more powerful, but it's also a lot more efficient. And yes, it is an octa-core chip. We're going to dive a little deeper. OK. Now, as you saw, the Qualcomm Snapdragon 675 is an 11 nanometer uh, based on 11 nanometer FinFET technology. It uses the latest Cryo 460 architecture and it is a eight core processor. With the 11 nanometer chipset or the process technology, you get better thermal, you get better power consumption. And because of all of this, you're able to push the entire performance to, the old, to a whole new level uh, on the 675. Not just that, Let me dive a little deeper to find out why it's so powerful. Let's look at how the CPU works. And in the Cryo 460 CPU, you've got two gold cores running ARM's A76. Now these are super performance cores. And then along with that, you've got six silver ARM, uh, sil six silver cores which are run on ARM's A55 architecture. Now both of these are powerful. But the gold cores do the major heavy lifting. So all your games, all the, your heavy 3D applications are in the gold cores, while the silver ones are for your day-to-day -day performance. So whether it's social media apps, whether you're listening to music, whether you're browsing, these silver cores step in there. But not just that. Obviously, we are also interested in gaming. And there, we've got an all-new Adreno 612 GPU. And this GPU, when combined with the gold cores of the Cryo 460 CPU, take gaming all the way to the next level. Lesser frame, frame drops, but also an overall smoother gameplay. It's absolutely amazing, and we've tested this amongst all the latest games. Uh, a few of us got chicken dinners as well. The next part of this amazing chip is the Spectra ISP. Now this obviously is incredibly important because this has been engineered to support a 48 megapixel camera, right? And of course, you remember our tagline. Uh, not just the, the 48 MP camera, but it also has better depth sensing and a hint for a later slide, it also supports 4K video capture. And the last part that I want to talk about here is it comes with an all new DSP, uh, the Hexagon 685, which has much better AI processing. And hence, that also adds further to your camera experience. Overall, this makes the Snapdragon 675 SoC, which is, as you saw, really powerful. And I'll just and we've combined this with up to 6 GB of LPDDR4X. Now we know LPDDR4X is the fastest RAM available for mobile phones right now, and you get that on the Note 7 Pro. Not just that, but for the first time ever on a Redmi Note series, we are also introducing a 128 GB storage variant. Now, you combine this, you've got a super powerful Cryo 460 CPU, an all new Adreno 612 GPU, and 
up to 6 GB of DDR4X RAM, you've got an amazing gaming machine right in your hands. But that's the hardware part. We've also made optimizations when it comes to software. In fact, we are running MIUI 10 based on Android Pie, and from a performance point alone, there are more than 20 different optimizations that have been done. But just to highlight a few, uh, from a log-free critical path and codependent prioritization, uh, it's able to run everything a lot more smoothly and push this entire system to a whole new level. Now, it is a note, and you've got so much power, so it has to have a noteworthy battery. And the Note 7 Pro comes with a 4000 mAh battery that easily lasts you two days on a single charge. Uh, and when you deep dive, it's almost 45 hours of 4G calling time if you were to call someone that long. Or what's really important and what I really care about as well, about eight and a half hours of gaming. Now this is absolutely incredible. Now this is a big battery and it's a powerful phone and we are saying that it's great for gaming. What you do need is when the battery goes down, you need to charge it up quickly, right? For that, again, a first for the Redmi Note series, you've got quick charge board. So, to sum it up, you've got the incredibly powerful Snapdragon 675 built on the Cryo 460 CPU. It has an Adreno 612 GPU, perfect for those heavy games. You've got MIUI 10 with Android Pie and keep bringing you all those optimizations and overall a smoother experience. Up to 6 GB of DDR4X RAM and 128 GB of storage. And of course, the Spectra 250L ISP. It's an all new ISP required for a massive camera. And with that, let's get into the most exciting part, the camera. Now, the camera on the Note 7 Pro is a combination of a 48 megapixel camera, and that's the primary camera, and along with that 48, you have a 5 meg depth sensor for those amazing portrait shots. Now, this 48 MP camera has probably generated a lot more buzz than any of our features ever before. In fact, uh, when I think about four weeks back is when we first talked about the fact that 48 MP is coming, we have got thousands and thousands of questions, comments uh, from a lot of our Mi fans as well, asking various aspects or various details. A lot of them wanted to know multiple aspects. Uh, so we've just taken some of those and put them here. So for example, Ashu wanted to know if this 48 megapixel was actually a real camera or is this software based. Or one of our very close fans who take a lot of inspiration from us, Madhav wanted to compare it with a 13 megapixel sensor from the previous generation. So we will do that as well. And then Arijit wanted to know if the processor can actually support anything more than 24 megapixel. Well, we've answered the last question, so we know that the new ISP can handle 48 megapixel. But let's look at the other two. So, on the Redmi Note 7 Pro, the camera that you get is a 48 megapixel camera, and the sensor that you get is a Okay, so we've decided to use the highest resolution sensor available on any smartphone, period. It is an absolutely amazing sensor. It changes mobile photography forever. And of course, it is there on your Redmi Note 7 Pro. But before we deep dive, I want to show a couple of images. Let's play a little quiz. Can you guys guess what this is? Anyone from the top? I heard Game of Thrones wall. 
Okay. Yes. It, it's really hard to do this with me fans around. They know everything. Okay. Yes. So this was zoomed in shot of an air purifier. Or let's take a look at this one. What is this? Sweater. Hello. This is the me neck pillow. Okay, let's let's get into a couple of sample images. Now this is a shot of the Taj, right? And uh, I'm gonna switch to Hindi for a bit here because this is a proper 48 megapixel shot. So when we were taking this shot, हम दूर से देख रहे थे. तो दूर से देखा तो ताज महल दिख रहा था. दूर से देखा तो ताज महल दिख रहा था पास जाके देखा तो कोई हमारी ही खींच रहा था लेट्स डू वन मोर दूर से देखा तो एक फतेहपुर सीकरी का किला दिख रहा था राइट right? ओ oh, मेरे शायर <laughs> पास जाके देखा तो कोई रिश्वत ले रहा था Moving back, what you get with a 48 megapixel sensor or camera on the Note 7 Pro is incredible detailing. This, of course, is the Taj Palace Hotel in Mumbai, and what you can see is a daylight shot with all the details captured properly. Unfortunately, the screen itself isn't big enough to handle that resolution, but we are trying to get there. Now, in a shot like this. With the 48 megapixel camera, you can zoom in even further, and without losing any detail, you can see all the details captured. In fact, you can even look at that pigeon and count the feathers that they've got on the edges. It's an incredible camera. And let's go to the next section, where let's talk a bit more about how this camera works. So. We did talk about the fact that it's a 48 megapixel primary sensor, clubbed with a 5 megapixel depth sensor. Diving a little deeper and looking at just the the IMX 586. Now this is the highest resolution sensor ever put in a smartphone. It is a half inch Sat CMOS sensor. It is massive. Not just that, it also provides four times the dynamic range. So your photographs actually come out a lot better, even if it was, say, in a similar situation. And all of this is happening because this all-new sensor uses improved photoelectric conversion efficiency. What it means is it's able to handle that light better in that size. Now, talking about the sensor size, where does a half-inch sensor stand? So we compared it with some of the The products that are out there. It is the largest sensor, or one of the largest sensors ever put on a smartphone. In fact, it is almost 27% larger than even the iPhone XS Max. I think we should price it somewhere there as well. Uh, of course, now we are talking about some flagships there, but we also looked at other mid-rangers. I don't think it's fair to compare. Uh, it's almost a 40% gap. But let's wait for the photographs there, and we'll get into that. Now, this is possible with almost 48 million individual pixels that are sitting in this half-inch sensor. It's a massive sensor with with 48 million pixels. And in front of those, we have also got a six-piece lens system and a wider than ever aperture. Of f 1.79, it's the widest aperture we've ever put on a Redmi Note device. This gives you incredible detailed photographs, like the ones you saw. In fact, uh, with this kind of a, a sensor size and getting 48 megapixel, you can print photographs almost nine feet by seven feet in size. It's that kind of a detailing. In fact. Uh, I don't think I don't know if we have a print. We could probably 
show a print of what this would look like, maybe a bit. Okay. So this is the image that you saw that was clicked by the Note 7 Pro. And this is not even nine feet by seven feet. We can go a little bigger. So we could have gone a little bigger as well. So this is the capability of the incredible 48 megapixel camera on the Note 7 Pro. But that's on its own. How does it compare with other phones? Let's take a look. Now this is the Note 7 Pro versus an iPhone XS and a OnePlus 60, the other flagships. And what you can see is a superior dynamic range and a lot more detail coming in the Note 7 Pro. In fact, if you go a little closer, you'll start seeing even more differences. In, if you look at this particular image, right, the, the writing on the wall is a lot more clearer in more ways than one. Uh, even the parts that are not well lit, uh, the Note 7 Pro is able to handle this light a lot better than even the flagships that are out there. But it is a 48 megapixel, so we can go even closer. And if you look at that, uh, this is a whole new level. And you've gone that close. If you look at the, the flag, the details on the Note 7 Pro are preserved while both the XS and the 60 lose that detail out. Yep. Let's look at, take a look at one more. Now this is the OnePlus 60 versus the Note 7 Pro. And again, this is a photograph of Taj. I will not do share or shiri now, so you can just spare it. Uh, what I want you to do is look at this little board here. Right? We talked about the fact that you've got incredible detailing on the Note 7 Pro. But not just that, you can clearly read You can clearly read the smallest font that is there. Uh, but what's also interesting is, I said, the sensor gives you a greater dynamic range. So if you look at the window at the back, not only is the Note 7 Pro able to capture the grill properly, but what almost every other phone would have missed out is there's a smaller grill behind this grill, which has also been captured. It's incredible amount of detailing that's coming in to the Note 7 Pro's camera. Uh, no, no, those are flagships. And again, the reason we were comparing it with these flagships is the fact that we used a sensor that is built for the latest flagships. Uh, and I know some of uh, you guys would want to know how it compares with other devices in the mid-range as well. So we thought we'd do that. It, it's, it's not really fair. We still do that. Now, if you can look at this one, right? The Note 7 Pro is far ahead in terms of dynamic range, in terms of the details, and we'll get to the details in a bit, and the overall color reproduction. But this is a far go closer. And here's where you start seeing the impact of that dynamic range coming in. The grill is absolutely clear here, while both of these other two devices start struggling. You want to see them struggle a bit more? Go on. Yes. Let's dive a bit more. Let's go even closer. And you can clearly see all the details on the Note 7 Pro while this is just a smudged photograph. So the Note 7 Pro is an incredible camera. Now I want to talk a bit more about the Note 7 Pro's camera settings. Now what you get is a 48 megapixel shot. Now each image, because it has so much information, easily will be about 15 to 20 MB in size. Now this is big because when you start taking 48 megapixel camera photographs, you know, GB, you'll only be able to fit 50 to 60 photographs. And this means that for most of our users can run out of space very quickly. To improve
improve this or basically make it easier for uh, not you guys and of course me fans will know all the settings but for uh, other layman person who comes in and buys the Note 7 Pro we have put this 48 megapixel camera in the Pro mode so by default the photographs that you get are 12 megapixels and these are normally about 4 to 5 MB so you do not run out of space very quickly but for all our me fans you want a 48 you want a true 48 you go into the pro settings and there on top you enable 48 megapixel to see those incredible shots come to life yeah okay let's move on to the next section <coughs> what do you do with a sensor this large you excel at low light photography as well and how this works is absolutely amazing when the camera detects low light it moves to combine four adjacent pixels into one super pixel this super pixel is a 1.6 micron and now you take this 1.6 6 micron and club it with this improved electric conversion efficiency what you get is fantastic shots shots like this now this is a low light shot and what most cameras would struggle to capture is if you guys can read what's written on the typewriter GW4682 it's absolutely clear with the Note 7 Pro now this is a phenomenal camera and you see phenomenal results as well for example uh, and this is another shot that we took which was extremely low light conditions and on the left side you've got the iPhone XS and on the right side you've got the Note 7 Pro. The 10s almost completely misses out the fact that there's a DJ booth in the middle. While on the Note 7 Pro, it's bright, it's clear, it's captured really well. Uh, moving beyond flagships uh, to other mid-range devices, again, like I said, it's not really fair. But if you take the same image with a Realme 2 Pro or a Samsung M20, uh, it's almost invisible. These guys really take their low light seriously. Sorry. Okay. So, to sum it up, you get a 48 megapixel unbeatable detailing with the all new Sony IMX586 sensor. You've got a large half inch sensor that takes in so much more information. You've got a wider than ever before f1.79 aperture, a 6 piece lens, and of course, when it's low light conditions, a 1.6 micron super pixel. And you've seen those results. They're absolutely stunning, even when the lighting conditions aren't great. But being a Redmi Note, we've decided to push it to the next level. For the first time on the Redmi Note series, we are also introducing a steady handled night photography mode. Now this is based on Xiaomi's powerful AI algorithm and it does a remarkable job. So let me show you an example. Take a look at this night shot. It captures in so much detail. You can see the reflection of the lights captured perfectly. You can even see how the cement is. Right? A great shot. Agree? Well, we haven't even switched on the night mode. When you switch on the night mode, the party completely changes. See that again? Normal, much better than any of the other devices that you get in this price class. But with the night mode, it's a whole new level. Let's take a look at another shot. Without night mode, it's still a bright, clear shot. But when you take the same image with night mode, you can even see the writings up there. So how does the night mode compare? Versus the 10s, not the 10s does not have a night mode, so it's not really fair. But even versus the 60, it's able to get all these details and handle the lights uh, the light sources without really blowing out, without having any exposure challenges. 
In fact, let's take a look at another example. The Note 7 Pro Night Mode is capturing in a lot more detail than even the OnePlus 6T. So, the Note 7 Pro, <coughs> unbeatable detailing day as well as night. And that's not all. You're still pushing ahead. On the camera, you also have AI scene detection as well as AI Portrait 2.0. Now, we've talked about this before, so I'll just quickly recap. With AI scene detection, the Redmi Note 7 Pro's camera is able to hand detect accurately 33 different scenes and change the overall saturation, improve the contrast, or all the tweaks that it needs to do to make it that perfect image for sharing. In fact, we've got India-specific changes made to this as well. Uh, an example would be this. Now, when you're taking a picture like this with the Note 7 Pro, it automatically detects that this is an architecture, this is a building, and enhances it. It improves the overall edges, it enhances the contrast, it bumps up the colors, it just makes it a lot more shareable on social media. Again, without subtle differences and making it a much better looking uh, image. Along with this, you've got AI Portrait 2.0. Now, this is something that we all love. Uh, with AI Portrait 2.0, you have adjustable bokeh, you've got studio lighting, and light trail. With adjustable bokeh, we all love portraiture, but you get the control in your hand. You choose how much of that depth information you want to have on your image. And then you've got studio lighting, giving you these incredibly dramatic shots every single time. And you've got now eight unique effects including one that's being built only for India. It's a holy effect. And you should get that pretty soon via an update. For the first time, we are also getting in a studio lighting live preview and the back camera. So you, can, you don't have to wait for the shot to be done and then you start editing. You will be able to see what the studio shot looks like live on the camera. And on the AI Portrait 2.0, we also have light trail. So you've got multiple options, and these are incredible photographs to share, especially on Instagram. In fact, if anyone, or I'm sure all of you follow Manu, uh, you would have seen what he did during Valentine's Day. Okay, so that's still photography. We are bringing in one more change to the video part and the camera. With the Note 7 Pro, you get 4K recording at 30 frames per second. It's a powerful device with an incredible camera. You can push it to the limits. And like the, note, <coughs> the previous notes, we still have EIS when, for when you're taking those videos and you want to avoid that handshake that comes in. So that's the rear camera. Uh, on the front, we have a 13 megapixel camera. Now this enables AI portrait selfie. You've got scene detection up to 12 different scenes. When you're taking a selfie, it detects what's behind you and automatically enhances your image as well as the background, depending on what the background is. Uh, you've got a studio lighting selfie for the first time, and this should be fun. And of course, it supports AI face unlock as well. So let's take a look at one shot, which I really loved. Now, now, this one is from the front camera, and it's actually, as, as you can see, it's a portrait shot. The backgrounds are blurred beautifully. Uh, the subject is in complete focus, but the edge detection is on point. If you look at her hair, uh, right behind the hair, everything is blurred out. It's a stunning looking shot. Right? But what's really interesting, and what most phones will struggle to do, is when you've got two subjects in the same frame. Most phones will struggle to take that portrait shot accurately. You know, either you'll see blurs happening on one or the other, or, and I'm pretty sure almost 95% of the phones will not be able to do this, if you look at that little gap between these two, that is incredibly hard to find. And because of our enhanced AI semantic segmentation, we are able to detect where the subject is, where the background is, and apply that beautiful blur every single time. 
With the 13 megapixel front camera, you also have AI face unlock for those who prefer just to look at the phone to unlock. We will be getting studio lighting selfie and this will come via an OTA. So to sum it up, the Note 7 Pro, 48 megapixel camera beast, unbeatable detailing, day and as you saw, night as well. It's got a Sony IMX586 sensor, the largest, highest resolution sensor ever put on a smartphone. And we've taken it to the next level with a wider f1.79 aperture. It also supports 4K recording and an all new night mode. Uh, of course, from a portraiture perspective, you've got a 5 megapixel depth sensor and you saw you can get some amazing portrait shots with the AI scene detection and portrait 2.0. In the front, you've got a 13 megapixel AI front camera, which does AI face beautify, uh, scene detection, face unlock, as well as a studio lighting selfie that's coming pretty soon. Now, Note 7 Pro, a lot has changed. From the Note 6 Pro, we had, of course, changed the camera. Uh, it moves to a 48 megapixel camera with the 5 megapixel depth sensor. Uh, the super pixel is a 1.6 micron super pixel now, giving you amazing low light photography. Even the aperture, aperture is bigger, so it lets in a lot more light, getting you a lot more detail. We've used an all new Snapdragon 675, pushing the overall smartphone performance to the next level. We saw it is 17% faster than even the Snapdragon 710. We've got an all-new immersive design. We've got a 15, uh, sorry, a 19.5 to a 9 dot-notch display. We've got Corning Gorilla Glass 5, both in the front and the back. And this glass is curved beautifully <coughs> that fits into the frame. We've got Quick Charge 4 supported. We've got an all-new Type-C, first for a Redmi Note. We've got 4K UHD recording. We've got EIS. And of course, a noteworthy 4000 mAh battery and dual SIM, dual Volti. It's not dual SIM, dual standby. It supports DSTV. So, the 48 megapixel camera beast in all this glory. Again, to recap, 48 megapixel Sony IMX586 sensor. Absolutely incredible. You saw the results. It is a flagship sensor that we are putting in the Note 7 Pro. It's got a Qualcomm Snapdragon 675, giving you flagship level gaming experience. It's got dual Corning Gorilla Glass 5 and an all new gradient design, which looks absolutely stunning. It's got a 13 megapixel AI front camera, an all new immersive dot notch display, which is 6.3 inch full HD plus, and a noteworthy 4000 mAh battery with Quick Charge 4 supported. So let's take an overall look at the product a product video.
sure you guys are gonna love this phone. Absolutely sure. Okay, so that's the Note 7 Pro. Moving on, the second surprise. Now this one is something that you are anyways expecting. The Redmi Note 7. Now with the Redmi Note 7, we have performance redesign. And we'll get into each of these, but again, we are redefining what you get in this particular class. Let's get into performance. The Note 7 is powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 660 AI. No 625 because we lost them. It is a 2.2 GHz octa-core processor and it absolutely changes everything else in its price class. It's based on a Cryo 260 architecture and it's got four performance cores and four efficiency cores. So essentially your gaming as well as your day-to-day -day tasks are easily handled. Now, uh, why am I saying that this is changer or the best in its class? We have over the past couple of weeks or a few, yeah, a pa recent past, we have seen a couple of devices that launched with the so-called Snapdragon 660 processor. In fact, we found about four of them. And these range from about 15,000 all the way to about 25,000. And all of them claim that they're running a Qualcomm Snapdragon 660. So we decided to test how the Note 7 performs versus all of them. The Note 7 is on an average 10% faster than any of these devices. And you guys know why? Any guesses? It's because none of them were actually giving you a proper 660. All of them called out 660, they wrote about 660 in their product data sheets, uh, you know, they had the media briefs given out saying it's a 660, but in fact it was a 660 Lite. And you get 10% lesser performance with that. In fact, me fans, if you know anyone who bought any of these devices, you should go and ask them to ask the brand to get their money back, at least 10% discount. So with the Note 7, you get a proper high performance Snapdragon 660. Uh, so these are obviously 660 Lite. We also decided to compare the Note 7 with some of the other recently launched devices. So you saw the Honor 10 Lite running a Kirin 710, and there's a, a couple of Samsung devices that use the same processor, the Exynos 7904. So both, both these have different price points, but the same processor. So we decided to compare with these as well. Uh, of course, you know what the result is going to be, right? It's a Redmi Note. There's a massive difference. In fact, not only does it outperform the Kirin 710 by a margin of about 10%, but there's an almost 30% gap when you compare this with the Exynos 7904. I don't think it's really fair to compare these two. Now, it is a note, and we're talking about performance. Of course, you expect a 4,000 mAh two-day battery. And like the Note 7 Pro, the Redmi Note 7 also gets support for Quick Charge 4. Moving on to the next section, the Redmi Note 7 camera. Now we gave a few of our Mi fans the Redmi Note 7 to go and test. And they came back with some incredible snaps. Photographs like this. Now this is a portrait shot. And it's absolutely stunning. You can of course see uh, Xiaomi's semantic segmentation working perfectly. But even the detailing that you see on the subject is absolutely on point. In fact, let's go a little further out and a little more complex as a situation. 
take a look at this shot. Now the colors, the detailing, <coughs> the detailing, the vibrancy, all of that has been preserved really well. And this one is my personal favorite. Uh, this is from Jaipur, and this was during a very cloudy day, so it's a harder shot to get. But the Note 7 does that perfectly. So on the Redmi Note 7, what we have is dual camera setup, a 12 megapixel primary clubbed with a 2 megapixel depth sensor. And this 12 megapixel primary sensor is a 1.25 micron sensor. So about 25% larger overall pixel area compared to a traditional 1.12. And hence, gathering in a lot more light to give you those results that you just saw. Like the Note 7 Pro, the Note 7 also will get a steady handheld night photography mode. And this, of course, you can see it dramatically changes and improves the overall low light performance. The Note 7 also has a 13 megapixel front camera and it gives you those amazing pictures. <coughs> you get an AI portrait selfie, you got AI beautify, you have AI scene detection and of course it supports face unlock. If you look at this particular example, like the Note 7 Pro, you can clearly figure out how well this has worked. In fact, the gap between the two subjects is even bigger and you can clearly see that the background has been blurred out while the subjects are completely in focus, all the details have been preserved and the edge detection is absolutely flawless. Moving on to the design, the Note 7 also follows the Aura design philosophy. You've got an immersive experience, incredible focus on the detail, yet retailing, retailing all the, the functional aspects of the device. The Note 7 has a 6.3 inch dot notch display. It is again a 19.5 is to 9 display. It's a full high definition plus display and it still features the super expensive LTPS in cell screen technology. And because of all of this, you know, we are able to get smaller bezels. And like the Note 7 Pro, the Note 7 also features Corning Gorilla Glass 5, both at the front and the back. No compromises here. It comes in three amazing colors. We have the Onyx Black, and this looks incredibly classy. We've got the Ruby Red and the Sapphire Blue. I, I just love how the, the light kind of reflects off the back. It's absolutely amazing. Uh, let's look at all the three colors together. The Onyx Black, the Sapphire Blue, and the Ruby Red. So, Redmi Note 7. Performance redesign. It's built for people, our fans, who want that performance coming in in this price class. It is not an underclocked version. It is not a light version. It gives you the proper performance of a Snapdragon 660. Of course, you've got the immersive dot notch display. It is a 6.3 inch full high definition plus display. And it still has Gorilla Glass 5 both at the front and the back. Uh, you have this incredible reflective design and these three colors. You have a 13 megapixel AI front camera. You have a 12 megapixel camera at the back, which is a larger 1.25 micron sized. And of course, a 4000 mAh noteworthy battery with Quick Charge 4 supported, as well as a Type C, a 3.5 mm jack, IR remote, and P2I nano coating. Now, both these devices, uh, we pushed our core philosophy even further. When we built any product for India, we keep in mind providing the highest quality that we can. And the Note 7 and the Note 7 Pro are no exceptions. In fact, to talk about quality, I'd like to call Manu back on stage to take you through some of the initiatives that we've done. Thank you, man. Okay, so this is probably one of my favorite topics, quality. And you know, there are three big pillars of Xiaomi. Best specs, honest price, and highest quality. And 
quality has been a huge focus area at Xiaomi globally as well as in India. Our CEO Chairman Lejun says that innovation determines how high we soar and quality determines how far we go. We believe if we cannot build really great quality products, we cannot succeed from a long-term perspective. If we have to sustain this growth, if we have to continue to remain the number one brand, we have to build the best quality products for all our Mi fans here in the country. For this, we have built a new quality department in Xiaomi India, and it has been focusing on a lot of small improvements for all of you guys. There are three specific things that I would like to talk about today, which are applicable for both Redmi Note 7 and Redmi Note 7 Pro. The first, improvement in durability. Second, we made these phones flash proof. And third, we have tried to improve user experience. So let's talk about each one of them. Durability. Now, this is a study done by Corning, which says, on an average, a user drops a phone from a height of one meter seven times a year. Seven times a year. And we wanted to ensure that even if you drop the phone seven times, 10 times, even more number of times, it should be able to withstand it, both on the front as well as on the back. So of course, we have Corning Gorilla Glass 5 on both front and back. And not just this, we have increased the thickness of the glass. On an average, a glass is just about 0.7 mm thick. And we have added one extra layer and we have made it 0.8 mm thick just so that you get a very durable device. We've also introduced a new technology called this glass edge polishing. Now what it does is there, there could be a lot of really small cracks, such small cracks that you cannot even see them from your naked eyes. And this technology really ensures that you do not get these kind of cracks even if you drop your phone. Plus we have reinforced all the four corners. So if you drop the phone, uh, there nothing will happen to your phone, hopefully. And to show this, uh, we have some really cool videos. The first one from Sumit, uh, who is showing us how to create a really good salad. Let's watch this video. That was a really cool salad. Okay, how about this? We try it with something very unique. I tried multiple things yesterday. The hardest object that I could find in this hall was a walnut. And so we decided to take it to a very different level. And this is a video that we just shot. So that we were not prepared for this. We just shot it in the zone next to the stage. And as you can see, the audios are bad. It's not the nicest or the nicely shot video, but still it will demonstrate how on Redmi Note 7 and Note 7 Pro is even stronger than a walnut. Watch this one. I can comfortably say this is probably the most durable device which is there in India right now. A really, really incredible device. So let's talk about the second improvement that we have done, which is making it splash proof. Now, when we were launching Redmi Note 5 Pro last year, a lot of you guys asked us, can we make these phones waterproof? So we haven't made them waterproof, but we have made them splash proof. Uh, what really it means? It means we have watertight seals across all buttons and ports 
And if you really open the device, you can see these seeds from your naked eye. Not just this, we've also introduced the splash-proof P2Y hydrophobic nano coating, so that if you accidentally drop water on any of these phones, it will really sustain, like something that I'm trying to do over here. Now let me clarify, these are not waterproof phones, which means if you drop the phone in a bucket of water or in the middle of an ocean, it will not sustain. But if you drop a little bit of water on these phones or if there's a rainfall or sweat, it will easily hold true. Third big improvement that we're doing on quality is improvement of user experience, especially the audio quality. Now we're using the Texas Instrument Smart PA, PAS2563. And it, it is the power amplifier which really helps us improve the audio quality. It helps us create a sound cavity within the phone because of which when you're listening to music on a loudspeaker, you get almost 2.5x extra volume. A lot of you guys would like to listen to music on loudspeaker and I think you will really love it. And despite all these quality improvements, if you still face any issues, don't worry. We have 1000 plus service centers across the country and you know we have one of the best in class service networks in the country. Now all these phones that we are selling in India are being made in India. I'll skip this one. So these are being manufactured here in the country and our India COO, Murli, Murli is with us here in the room. Uh, Murli was there at a Foxconn factory a uh, few days ago and Murli has committed, so I can say on his behalf to all of you guys, we will try and ensure we produce as many phones as possible. So to all of you guys who want to buy Redmi Note 7 and 7 Pro should be able to buy. Now, before we go to price, I know all of you guys are waiting for the price announcement. I really want to talk about one thing that Anush talked about, which is we never cheat with our fans. If we say it is a 660, then it means it's a real 660, not an underclocked version of 660 that we will try and sell it to you at, the, at a higher price. Or we will never ever temper with any kind of scores. And this is something which really troubles us and we are not okay with it. We have heard a lot of news reports. I do not know whether they're true or not, but these are different news articles which keep coming up where multiple brands try and cheat customers and fans on N22 scores and on benchmarking scores. And whenever I raise this issue, people say, chalta hai. Bohut time se hota hai. Kya farak padta hai? But hame farak padta hai. Or just because it has been happening for a long time doesn't mean it should happen even in future. So we don't cheat on benchmark scores. Now this is a report done by T2, where if you look at many other brands, the score that they claim versus the actual score, there's a significant difference. But the same platform when it did brand scores on Redmi Note 5 Pro and Coco, there was no difference. So we do not cheat. We do not pay anybody to write a paid article for us. And we do not do any of these things, which is any kind of cheating for our consumers, for our me fans. Now with this, I would like to move to the last section of this first section, or the last part, which is... <laughs> now, Redmi Note 7 Pro is probably the most awesome device in India right now. It is a flawless device. Every single thing that you guys ask for, we have tried to incorporate this in Redmi Note 7 Pro. A 48 megapixel Sony IMX586 sensor, Snapdragon 675, which is even more powerful than 710. It has a glass back, not a glass looking plastic, but a glass back with uh, uh, God, uh, Gorilla Glass 5, 4000 mAh battery, overall a great, great phone. And we are comparing this device, of course, we believe there's no right comparison. But we just picked up two or three devices which we thought were somewhat comparable. You have Honor View 20, which is the only other phone with a 48 megapixel Sony IMX586. Then you have Vivo V15 Pro, with, which is the only other phone with Snapdragon 675. It also has a 48 MP camera, but not a Sony IMX586 sensor. And of course, we have Samsung M30, which just got launched yesterday. 
Now the last one, I believe, is no comparison at all. Because as Anuj mentioned, the uh, processor 7904 really cannot be compared to any of the processors that we are using. It is a plastic bag, it is running on Android O and many other things. So what do you think should be the price of Redmi Note 7 Pro? Sorry? <laughs> okay, let me first clarify which memory configuration. So we have two memory configurations. The first one is 4GB, 64GB. I heard a 19999, sorry. I heard a 9999. No, no, we can't do 9999. Okay. So the price for Redmi Note 7 Pro The price for Redmi Note 7 Pro 4GB, 64GB variant is going to be Oh, nice yaar, nice, nice खेल गई Xiaomi खेल गई hashtag Xiaomi खेल गई Really incredible specs, incredible price, and there is no comparison to other phones with similar kind of specs or even phones which do not have these kind of specs. Snapdragon 675, Sony IMX 586 sensor, 48 megapixel. Type C charging, glass back, everything that you have asked for at only 13 to 9 and 16 to 9. So this is Redmi Note 7 Pro for all of you guys. All the key specs and the two price points. And then we have Redmi Note 7, the real Snapdragon 660, not the underclock version. Great, great device. So this is the price comparison of Redmi Note 7 versus few other devices. Okay, guys. <laughs> okay, 3 plus 32. Mm. So yes, it's going to be launched at 9 triple nine. Mm, nice, nice. And the 4 GB, 64 GB is going 11, to be launched at 11 triple nine. So these are the prices for Redmi Note 7. And as you can see, it's a leak apart as compared to Realme 2 Pro, Oppo K1, so, Honor and Samsung M20, each of these devices. Much better specs at a much more honest price. So that's Redmi Note 7 for you guys. A really great device. Now, everyone is asking me, Anuj, what is the price point for Redmi Note 7 or Redmi Note 7 Pro? We'll get a special offer from a partner, Airtel, where you'll get up to 1120 GB of data. 1,120 GB of data free and unlimited calling. If you also get an Airtel Thanks benefit, which means you can stream the Airtel IPTV. Now, when and where can you buy Redmi Note 7 and 7 Pro? So the first sale of Redmi Note 7 is going to be next week on 6th of March at 12 noon on me.com, Flipkart and Me Home stores. And it will also be available soon across all our Me Preferred partners. That's Redmi Note 7. Redmi Note 7 Pro will come one week after that, starting 13th of March at 12 noon. We are trying to produce as much as we can. So Redmi Note 7 Pro, the first sale is going to be at 12 noon on 13th of March. Of course, again, me.com, Flipkart, and Me Home stores. And again, it will come to all our Me Preferred Partner stores. Now when you buy a Redmi Note 7 or 7 Pro, you'll get a free protective case inside the box. And for the first time, thank you. For the first time, we are introducing a perforated case that you can buy from any of our stores or me.com only at rupees 349. So that's Redmi Note. 7 series, we launched two phones, Redmi Note 7 and Redmi Note 7 Pro. 
but we said there are multiple surprises. So what are the other surprises that we have? No. Okay, so this is a new category, not a phone. Uh, this is a category that we launched last year on 14th of Feb on Valentine's Day with many of you guys, right? And this is a category that everybody kept asking for. For years, whenever we used to have a Me Fan Meet and we used to say, which is the product that we should launch? We used to say, Me TV. So we introduced Me TV last year and in a short period of six months, we became the number one smart TV brand in the country. So we have been the number one smart TV brand for last three consecutive quarters. In fact, during the month of October, during Diwali, we sold more than four lakh TVs, close to five lakh TVs in just one single month. And to the best of our knowledge, no other brand has sold four or five lakh TVs in one month, including smart and non-smart. So probably, if this is true, probably we were the largest TV brand during the month of Diwali. So we just launched two new TVs in the beginning of this year, the 4X 55 inch, 4X Pro 55 inch, and 4A Pro 43 inch. So happy to share that we are launching our, th our third TV of the year here today with all of you guys. And we are launching Mi LED TV 4A Pro 32 inch. So what's new with this? This comes with the latest Amlogic 64 bit processor. Of course, this is an Android TV which means you get Chromecast, you get Play Store, you get YouTube, you get everything, and you also get Google Assistant. And you have a Mi Remote, a Bluetooth Mi Remote, that you can operate from any angle in the room. This is being launched at an amazing price, an honest price of 12999. And this will be available. And this will be available across Mi.com, Mi Home Stores, and Flipkart. Now when we launch, these two TVs, we launched a new category, which was soundbar. And we sold tens of thousands of soundbars in just few days. And we really want to build this audio entertainment category. And hence, we are launching the fourth product of the day. And to introduce this product, I'll show you a quick video. Okay, Google, start my workout playlist. So yes, this is flash proof. It has nine hours of, of battery life and is integrated with Google Assistant. And we're calling it Mi Sports Bluetooth Earphones. And this is being launched at only 1499. So there are four things that we have launched today till now. Redmi Note 7, Redmi Note 7 Pro. We launch a new TV, 32 inch Pro, and we launch Mi Sports Bluetooth earphone. So what's the last surprise? The fifth surprise. So all of for all of you guys, we have a gift. All of you guys sitting in this room. So all our Mi fans and all our partners who have joined us today, we really want to thank all of you guys. So yes, all of you guys get... That's all guys. That's all from our side. All our Mi fans who are watching us live, 
Thank you so much for joining in today. Thank you. Let's do a photo op. Okay, bye bye. Kailgay Xiaomi hashtag.